I'm Vince Kellen. I'm the Chief Information Officer at University of California, San Diego. And I've been working as a CIO for about 13 years now and, and in, in, in uh, different industries and consulting for about a dozen before that. So I've had the chance to work across many type of organizations. Uh, most recently, in my most recent past year at University of Kentucky, we had uh, begun the process of emptying our data center and moving entirely to several uh, information uh, in, in infrastructure as a service providers in a diverse competitive uh, supply chain. And that's colored a lot of my thinking uh, that I'll be sharing with you. Well, the biggest debate that I'm having with people on the cloud is exactly defining what is the cloud. Uh, because there's a lot of vendors out there that are being very loose with the term. There's a lot of CIOs out there being very loose for the, with the term. I'm seeing far less disagreement about many other factors, but far more disagreement about how to define the darn thing. Uh, so what I do is I try to forcefully define it for everybody so it's pretty clear. Well, but, you know, I look at the cloud in, in terms of defining it as being very different than traditional um, data center management. In traditional data center management, especially by providers, uh, they will do their pricing by square foot and square foot of rack space. So the people who build the data center and invest in the data center are doing all their math with spreadsheets based on square foot. Uh, and to me, that's collocation space. That's not cloud. In a cloud environment, you're actually pricing per some virtual consumption package. And that, the, that virtual consumption package is the thing of interest. I also think the other part of the cloud definition is the pricing and the contract terms. In traditional colocation or outsourced IT business, uh, the Contracts tend to be rather simple, believe it or not, uh, for a very long fixed period of time and usually for a very simple price. But in cloud, it's been commoditized and unbundled. So you will have uh, a package of virtual service that's oftentimes a pricing vector in three or four dimensions. And there might be many of them to choose from. Uh, the term of the contract can be minutes to hours to days to weeks to months. In a traditional colo, it's months and years at best. Uh, the provisioning can be very agile, quick on, quick off. Uh, and I think that is the fundamental difference between cloud and non-cloud. So to me, a, a cloud environment has to be one in which the fundamental pricing formula is not square footage based, but it is virtualized package of some kind, that it be unbundled and commoditized and have very interesting, flexible contract capabilities, including things like auction or spot buying, on-demand buying, reserve instances, forwards. Heck, I'm even looking to the future today. We're going to have a future on a forward, and we'll be able to trade those futures in a market someday. What some people don't seem to understand about the cloud is perhaps a little bit of the definition, but I think more important about its impact and what it's likely, what's likely to happen. And so I've been using actually the metaphor of earthquakes and how earthquakes occur. And in earthquakes, you get a thing called subduction, which is a very common uh, geological process in which part of the Earth's crust starts to go underground and get recycled back. Well, that subduction causes plates to come in contact with each other. And you could say that the traditional IT is degrading over time. And there's some measures out there and some research that says, yes, investments in traditional IT are declining. Uh, well, that has some very long impact on vendors and on us that we're just starting to see. So the massive consolidation around servers, only because there's fewer server shipments to corporations. It's all being done to clouds. You're seeing perhaps um, more different cloud environments coming out, not just Amazon and Microsoft and Google, but companies like VirtuStream and, and companies like SoftLayer. Uh, that provide different uh, cloud uh, offerings. And I think you can see more of those coming out. So I think the impact is what people are failing to perhaps come to, to come to grips with. And I think the number one impact is in the future, the IT organization will not be about infrastructure, but will be about information. And we're not called infrastructure technology, we're called information technology. So to me, that's appropriate. I think what we see most often in the market is uh, what, when someone says on-premise cloud, um, they're usually saying colo cloud or on-premise with a little bit of lipstick on the pig to make it look like cloud. 
And I am certainly seeing on the vendor side, cloud lipstick on the colo pig, meaning a vendor says, oh, it's a cloud environment. But what you've really got is a complete colocation contract, essentially. And so there's a lot of hand waving going on. Uh, and there's probably not enough discerning buyers to really set the vendors kind of straight on this. There are a class of vendors that are getting that distinction and are absolutely on top of it. They tend to be smaller niche providers with a younger management team who seem to have absorbed the, con the concepts. Now, so I think that's some of the difficulty in, in, in it right now.